Aries, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-September 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Aries Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got for these beautiful rams here in mid-September? Lovely time of year. It's still Virgo season at the time of this filming. Let's see what energies, messages, insights we could pull for our good friends. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on. Which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for my beautiful Aries friends. What's happening, my gods? Talk to me. As the seasons are shifting, what's going on? Okay, yeah, sleepy. Okay, so one thing I'm picking up here, some of you watch your actual overall energy, whether you're exerting a lot of it, maybe some of you might be feeling a little down. Um, this could also represent etheric energies. It's very dreamy. So there's a lot of subtlety to this very first card that came out. Now, before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the September subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk more about this card so we see this lovely lady it looks like she's doing yoga maybe some sort of meditation she's kind of like folded up there so for some of you yeah, there could be a lot of interest in deep state meditation grounding yogic exercise and stuff like that it's a really good energy but it just feels very dreamy and sleepy and imaginative. So I'm going to stick with that very first message. For a lot of Aries, watch your energy levels in this time. Because listen, as an Aries myself, I know generally we're pretty energetic, but sometimes there's always ebbs and flows. So some of you might be feeling a little zapped, a little drained. You might need a little more rest, more so than you normally do when a card like this shows up. Hopefully you're not having sleep issues or things surrounding your sleep schedule. But again, with this imaginative, creative energy that we're picking up here in front, that's fantastic. Regardless of what shows up in the tarot portion, this is extremely creative and there's beautiful energies um, to be had when it comes to expressing yourself creatively. So this could be good. So yeah, it's a little warning about your energetic uh, batteries, of course, but we're just going to put her down right there. She could keep resting. Let's get into tarot now. And I always say the first card there, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's get you three tarot cards in the upright. And we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Let's shuffle it up one time here for the Aries Rams. What's happening? What do you got for us? And while we get this deck shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. And it seems like we're tapping into a theme I've been seeing for a few weeks now. Last week's reading was titled The Karmic Return. So for a lot of areas, whether it's situations you've kind of dealt with in the past or possible individuals, this is an energy that's been lingering for a couple weeks and can continue where you're either going to have to revisit some things, situations, or even people could be popping back up. But we're going to see what energy shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take it how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going. Three cards here for my Aries people. What is happening, please? Okay. Nice and quick. All right. Not slowing down. So it's like we have this crazy energy that's like blasting off like a rocket. Where I had this one about watching your energetic batteries. Very important to pace yourself. In regards to something, it could even be life in general. <clears throat> Pardon me, maybe you want to just like keep something nice, slow, and steady as opposed to jumping right in because the chariot is the fastest moving card in the whole entire deck. Let's get a couple more cards out before we really dive in too deep on that. Two cups, partnerships. Usually, this is a very good, harmonious type of energy we're picking up right here in the center. Let's get one more. We could be looking at someone else's energy as well with that two of cups. Okay. All right. So let's, we're going to have to talk about these energies because one is like full go. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. The other one is like retracted where one is moving forward. One is pulling back. And then right here on the back end, we have the five of pentacles as our little bonus. And we'll talk about that. That's another little footnote. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, it's a bit of a complex energy this week, my friends. Elementally, we're looking pretty good. There's a lot of water, so it makes sense with that very first card we were picking up with the imagination, emotional type of vibe. 
Chariot, two of cups, those are both strong water energies, which in tarot and divination, water represents the realm of emotion, feeling, imagination, love. All those things could be tied up with this. So it's showing up intensely here. On to the back end here, we also have some earth. So I generally say when you mix water and earth, it's usually very prosperous and it's an energy of potential. But we're going to have to see how it plays because these two extreme ends are totally different. This one's like, let's move forward full blast. This one is like backpedaling where this one's like, yeah, let's go. Let's take some action. This one is like fully retreating. So there might need to be something that's slowed down or to pace yourself. So let's go through piece by piece and really build it out. Position number one, the chariot. Now, I know I spoke about it a few different ways already. This is the zodiac sign of cancer or the cancerian. So some of you might have a prominent cancer in your life when this card shows up. It's a major arcana, which means it's a very powerful energy in general. Now, it could also represent distance, travel, taking trips. It could represent your mode of transportation as well. So for some of you, there could be things going on with a vehicle or how you get from place to place. But aside from that, the chariot is moving forward. It's either going to or from something really quick, explosively, very fast and rapid. Uh, there's no slowing down when this energy is here. That's what I'm saying. We're starting off with a bang the way this energy comes out. Now, the challenge, and in the positive, yes, this is a determined energy to see something through. But when we get to the challenge of it, it could be a little too aggressive. It could be something that's moving too quickly. It could also be confrontational. That's one thing I could say about the chariot, where it's like, all right, well, let's go. Remember, chariots were always initially made as an instrument of war. So keep that in mind. There could be some sort of conflict, whether internal or external. But to me, it just feels like someone revving up the engines, like, well, let's, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this yesterday type of energy. And I'm not saying it feels impatient. Moving to the center, we have the Two of Cups. Now, this could really present itself in a couple of different ways. Two of Cups, as with all twos, could represent decisions, choices, partnerships, being at a crossroads of some kind. So there might be certain decisions you're trying to make or plan out. I also link twos to planning, so to speak. Uh, it could also just represent someone that we are closely connected to, whether it's partnerships that are on your mind right now or someone that you are closely tied to. Usually this card is a very nice emotional exchange for someone that's close to you, okay? Like soul tie, soul bond, even karmic sometimes with the two of cups. In its positive sense, everything's cool. In its positive sense, everything's flowing nice. But when we get to the challenge of the Two of Cups, it could be disharmony in that realm. Now, for a portion of you, once again, in my simplistic style, it might just give us a little bit of information about someone you're connected to when we clarify it. So we will want to do that. Now, on to the back end, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Now, I will mention this. It does have a little bit of a more complex shade to it because as i said earlier in the reading we are currently in the time of virgo so if you're not connected to a virgo when we clarify this it could just tell us how the rest of the energy might play out in virgo season which is a couple more weeks i believe whereas this one is full go full forward this is a retracted energy for some areas there might be something you're pulling your energy away from or taking your energy back calming something down so it's the complete opposite of what we have here with the chariot so whether this is two people in two different places or whether this is you thinking something over and saying all right i'll slow it down there's a patience to this hermit now there can be issues with miscommunication where somebody's holding something in not really saying what they feel um it's a card of mystery as well when we see this hermit because it's always shrouded. But the positives of it is that it's extremely wise, but it could also represent delays, right? Like it's not really moving too quick. On to your bonus, we have the Five of Pentacles. I will say for some of you, now whether this is how someone else is feeling or you, you see these people, they're thrown out in the cold. So watch out for feelings of isolation, feeling lonely, possibly. I always say this one could also represent issues with work and money situations, whether it's like not being fully happy about it or just problems arising. But I don't feel like it's a major player in this reading. I feel like it's more of a warning, whether we're seeing how someone else is feeling or you. Worst case scenario, this could just be, you know, feelings of abandonment. But I want to dive deeper on all of it, Aries. Let's jump in and clarify. A good shuffle here. What do we have, my good friends? What is going on? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on that chariot? 
And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Harry's, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, chariot time. What's happening? What is this urge? What is this action moon? Okay. I mean, we're going to have to dig for a lot more detail here. We're picking up a little more water. We have the moon in the upright, which is extremely, extremely mysterious. What's all this shrouded energy, Aries? Whether it's like a little confusion about what the future holds. I mean, this could absolutely be someone that's a bit of a live wire where it's like, okay, well, what are they really thinking? What are they really feeling? Because this could be an unexpected action. So I will say this as an Aries myself, I know sometimes we could be very spontaneous. And you take that for what it's worth. I know not every single Aries is in the world, but sometimes if we get the urge to do something, we're going to do it. So when I see the chariot and the moon in the upright, it's somebody making an unexpected action or surprising action, doing something that either you weren't expecting or they weren't. It all really depends on how it goes. So it's like something coming out of nowhere type of vibe with the chariot and the moon. For some of you, this could really present itself in a good way for portion of you maybe it's like a last minute trip or you're going to travel or you need to get out and you take a long drive but for another portion of you this could be somebody acting in a way where either they're confusing you or it's like completely blindsiding okay that's like the main vibe i'm picking up here um for a very small portion it's like a little confusion like what next like what's next like some of you might feel like you're you're just floating with all this water and it's like okay well what's the next move let's keep moving forward though Maybe we'll get a little more clarity as we keep pressing forward. So let's go in on that Two of Cups. Again, just to summarize it, I know it gave you a few different ways it could present itself. Unexpected or surprising action. Like someone just acting in a very live wire-like way. So let's go in on that Two of Cups. Let's see what's happening here. Thank you. Six of Swords, even more. Okay. Okay, so I will say this, Aries, this is someone that's, that would like feed into any of the urges that you might have. Okay, so whether this is a family member or a good friend or even a romantic partner where it's like someone does something out of nowhere and they're like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds awesome. Now that could really present itself in a positive way for some of you. But at the same time, this could be an individual where like even if there are certain behaviors that aren't too healthy, it's like this person could really feed into those. Because when I see the two of cups and the six of swords, it's like, yeah, let's go. I'm with you here. Let's both do this. OK, so that could be really good or really rough. I feel like you possibly having a teammate or someone that would egg you on or say, like, yeah, no, you're not wrong. Let's make it happen. So it's like somebody getting on board, which is, I would say, could be positive depending on the situation. Um, I don't feel disagreeing here, which is bizarre, right? Like when someone's acting in a way that you don't quite expect, like sometimes there would be resistance. Maybe that's what we're going to encounter here on the back end. But the Six of Swords is moving out of choppy time into calm for a portion of you now. It could be a great time to um, really fix up certain friendships or reconnect with people with, with the Six of Swords. Like people, there could even be apologies and stuff like that. But the intuitive message I initially felt was like somebody that's going to egg you on or like really feed into that spontaneity, which again, could be good or rough. Let's keep moving. I feel like it's simple. But yeah, this could be good for partnerships, especially if there's something you're wanting to try to fix. Okay? But lots of travel, lots of action, lots of movement, not stagnant. That's the one thing I will say here. But let's go in on the Hermit because I'm not picking up a lot of resistance. Let's see what the Hermit says. Then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow. So what's this Hermit about? What is it? Quick, very quick. Unwants. Hmm possible fear of rejection from someone which is bizarre okay because the energy in the center is like completely wide open this one on the back end is like completely closed off so for a portion of you there might be an actual individual or situation where you're like okay well i want to put my energy here but i'm not putting it there anymore there could be certain situations that you're not feeding into any longer or you're just like completely protective and closed off about so it's like a bizarre twist of energy where this is all wide open let's go let's do it let's go and then this one's like no no not so fast now for a portion of you when i see the hermit and the nine of wands this could also represent a rejection okay so watch out for people that like say one thing and do another where it's like oh yeah yeah let's do it let's make it happen and then at the last second they back out okay like that, just take that for what it's worth because i'm getting that vibe too where it's like this energy pops up, this one exit on, but then it like last second, it's like, no, 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 yeah, never mind. One of those. 
Um, but again, there could just be a situation or a person that you're just not open to right now, or you're possibly building a wall and rejecting for the moment. With this nine of wands, the wounded warrior usually represents someone that's been through quite a few things, somebody that could still be healing as well. So when I see the retracted hermit with this, it's very protective. Okay. Um, and again, it really depends on the situations you're going through. This does feel pretty complex ever since the beginning, but let's, let's go through and do a quick recap here. Okay. And then, yeah, there's also the fear of abandonment on the back end from someone, but let's go through them. Then we'll get into the shadow card position. Number one, as a quick recap, we have the chariot with the moon in the upright, lots of fluid water energy, lots of mystery, lots of action. That's why I said it's either a surprising action, something very spontaneous, whether it's like a trip or an action or just somebody acting in a very spontaneous way. It's like having an idea and then doing it or like getting an urge to do something, then do it. It's like giving me that vibe. It's not fully thought through. And moving to the center, we have the two of cups with the six of swords. This other energy would be feeding into it. So whether you're feeding into someone else or they're feeding into you or whether this is how a situation used to be with someone where it's like the individuals feed off of each other and it's like a feedback loop. I don't see it slowing down where it's like, all right, well, this is what I'm doing. That's a great idea. Let's make it happen. Moving to the back end, there's a bit of a rejection type of energy. We have the hermit and the nine of wands. So for some of you, there could be certain things you're shutting down or pulling your energy away from in this time. Um, again, these could be totally different situations. But when I see that, there's like a bit of a rejection of something or a fear of something on the back end. So do with that what you will, Aries complex energies this week please take a screenshot if you want to look into it further let's see what's in the shadows for you so let's get a good shuffle here guys what is going on with the aries collectors please and yes i always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge they could be a good thing so let's get you one and if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, let's get this going. What's in the shadows? Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Yeah, five of wands. Very fiery, and, and that is an energy that we could be comfortable with as Aries. Now, the five of wands has good sides and has rough sides, and when I see this in the shadows... Again, watch that classic Aries temper in this time, because with all the spontaneity and this fast moving energy, if you do encounter any walls or blockages, it really might flare up your, your anger in a big way. Now, for some of you, there could be certain situations where you're feeling conflicted about it. And it makes sense with what we see here, where it's like fluid, full go, full stop rejection. So for some of you, it's either a decision or a choice or a situation where it's like you feel one way one second then the next another is like an internal conflict happening here. Um, if that's not you, it could be somebody else, right? Again, with the volatility, spontaneity, I've been picking it up for a lot of Aries in this week's reading. Um, but again, I would say when this type of energy shows up, it might be good to actually release this energy through physical activity. And I know I saw that dreamy energy in the beginning about like your energetic batteries, but I feel like for some of you, if you have an overabundance of it, you might need some physical activity to release it when this is here. So Aries, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet though. I'm gonna give you the details of the September subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the September subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks of all time, the beautiful Wizard's Tarot. It's gorgeous and it works great. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, where would you like to go for your dream vacation? What are you manifesting? Let me know. Let's bring it to fruition. You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in the community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you again.